Hey, hey guys, welcome to Aliens Fire Team Elite. So, we got the big December 14th update. So, anybody that has the deluxe or whatever would have gotten the next part of the season, which dumped a whole bunch of cosmetics. There's a handful of new items in the shop we'll go take a quick look at. Uh, Is it legal? I mean, if it's illegal, so aside from some problem. color skins and things like legal, that, I'll need you to file a requisition like form 1348 or 1348 Mike. Is, you know, we got the Frontier Revolver, which, you know, stacked up to the Kramer's already better, and this is a fully updated Kramer. So that's not too bad, obviously. My Kramer is fully leveled with all the add ons. Looks like you got the SMG, another one you can pick up. Uh, if we continue on down, you got a plasma rifle. I don't have a weapon to compare it to right now, so I'm not sure what that's all about. And a microburst, which is some kind of heavy launcher, RPGs, blah blah blah. So, that's what's there. I don't see any new attachments that they've entered in, so no big deal there. Uh, of course, they've got all these perks and stuff. I don't think there's anything new in the perks that you can pick up. So, uh, and then, like I said, there's a bunch of new colorways that you can pick up. Uh, if you've got a Wayland Utani weapon, you'd be surprised how many spray artists we've got in the battalion. There's some new outfits, of course. I haven't bought all of the outfits, obviously, but. Uh, looks like they've got their festive hat in there. The Endeavor Wings cap is fairly new. And you got a bunch of flat camo and some new various camos and stuff in here. And some camos that I hadn't picked up yet. And then they put in a bunch of new decals if you want any decals for anything. There's a handful of new emotes. They also give you a bunch if you have the season passes, so nothing too major there. So I'm going to take in my uh, specialist dude here. And we're going to try out the game mode. So you have your lifetime stats now. You can see your overall stats for everything. No big deal. You can check out your various missions and tell you, you know, they'll tell you what's finished each of these missions on what difficulties. As you can see, I haven't been through on Extreme or Insane. I've never completed anything because I can't ever get into groups, so nothing I can do there. Wow, looks like I haven't done much on this one. Uh... These are the overall campaigns, and then you can select the various missions. It tells you if you've completed it with something or not. No big deal. Uh, loadout kits, you can check your stats for each one. Obviously, this one's pretty low because I haven't hardly used it, versus my gunner, which is maxed out. So there you go. And then it should tell you your overall favorite weapons. I haven't done much with the uh, sniper rifle necessarily versus, say, like the pulse rifles. So you check out all those different stats if you want. Not a big deal. Quick play so you can try and get into different modes. I was trying it a little earlier after I got the update done and I could not get into any groups still. So we're going to try point defense. Um, just leave it on standard, doesn't seem to matter. And we'll just get to it, because otherwise we'll be sitting here forever. Lb 95 is at its closest so. approach to the gas giant. Seismic activity is spiking. There are engineer objects that protect the ruins from quakes, but Z knows it. So, we'll see what this is all about. I think it's just another variant of horde mode where it's horde mode, but you also have to keep some artifacts up and running. At least that's what the thing keeps indicating, so we'll just have to see. Doop. 
Alright. Esther says these engineer things keep landquakes from damaging the ruins. The Xenos busted them. Get them back online and protect them while LV-895 crosses Perigee. Okay. Sure. Yeah, that will evac you from another point. We can get you resupplied by air. Okay. I'm supposed to activate these how? Laggy there. Should not be this laggy. credits after each attack. Choose careful. You gotta make that shit last. My joy. Hey, you have to tell it to start the next one. Their 
for site alpha. I know, you told me that already. Really? Ready? Oh, guys. Hey, busted object, Bravo. You're joking, right? Hostile activity, object Charlie. Damage. Little friends heading to Alpha. Doesn't really Clear. matter. Endeavor, my team's offline. Seismic activity spiking. Well, fantastic. Okay. Well, unfortunately, guys, that is it. Um. So it looks like. You know, they added it in with the intent that multiplayer would probably make this okay. Even with three really good people partnered up, I'm not sure that you could really pull it off super easy. Obviously, you have to be able to get to all three objects and keep your eye on them. Um, obviously, there's no way I can do that with just the androids uh, on my team because the sense won't go naturally to each objective point. So... Unfortunately, it looks like it's something that's probably not going to be it's very fun if you can't one. find multiplayer people. And unfortunately, Cold Iron still hasn't fixed the fact that we may not be able to get into multiplayer groups. Like I say, I was on earlier, and I could not find anybody else to play through Quick Match or anything else to play with. So unfortunately, I don't know exactly what their game plan is for dealing with that. But this so far is what Season 2 has going to end up with here for the holidays. Uh, I know they have more stuff slated coming out next year, but we won't get anything until first quarter of next year for the overall game. They haven't released what they're planning to release in that. I think maybe they're going to be doing another, probably another class or something like that. Uh, no word on if it's going to be any campaign related stuff. No word on if they're going to maybe work on the sense and make them more usable for solo play on higher levels. Or anything like that. Unfortunately guys, I'm going to have to say it's probably a hard pass on me as far as, you know, this new set for Season 2 is. There's just no way for me to complete it by myself. Even if I got Scarlet to join me, that's only two of us. There's no way we can cover three objects by ourselves because the synth will inevitably tag along with somebody. So, unfortunately, a little disappointing. Uh, lots of cosmetics and stuff you can grind out if you really want to. Uh, they did dump a bunch of cosmetics. Uh, they did dump some new decals on us, uh, the biohazard, always faithful, the turbocharged, they gave us some color stuff like the bomb squad, and this new edged traced stuff, so couple of new colorways there. Um, as far as head accessories go, they gave us the parade dress beret, and then I believe they also gave us the do-rag. And then as far as outfits go, we did get the Nostromo jackets. 
and the Nostromo flight suits, which they're okay. Um, you know, I can quickly give you a look at what they look like if you want, maybe. So you can get either the crew jacket or you can get the flight suit. course for the head you have the do-rag and then I believe the other one was the dress beret which you know eh, they're okay I guess but that's all that we really got unfortunately so there you go guys there's a little brief uh, view of what came in for the last part of season two for aliens fire team elite Unfortunately, if you're like me and you're kind of stuck on your own and don't have anybody to play with, it's nothing that's really going to make you jump back in the game. If you've got two or three buddies that consistently want to play with you, you guys might have a little more enjoyment out of the new game mode, but really that's it. You know, The big thing was they gave you the lifetime stats, they gave you the one game mode, and then all that cosmetics. So... Anyways, guys, a little brief snippet on what they've updated. And then, like I say, probably won't get another update for this one until first quarter of next year. So, who knows, probably February or so. I don't think they'll do one in January. It'll probably be like February or March before we see another update for this. Which, unfortunately, is going to be a few months where we're stuck with this is all we've got. We've already been dealing with this is all we have. So, that's a little unfortunate. But, it is what it is. Um, so, anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little brief look. Sorry I wasn't able to complete it to show you a completed run on it. But, I haven't even made it through Horde mode because I'm by myself all the time. And, the sense just cannot keep up with everything that's going on so anyways guys thanks for joining us and we will catch you guys all on another video sometime so toodaloo